<laughs> so, um, you're in pretty good company. <laughs> so, okay, so it's, uh, February, Stadium Magazine, interview with Barry Kamen, artist, uh, filmmaker, sometimes a musician. Ah, uh, no, 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 I can't play, yeah. I've written some songs, but, uh, oh, but so, yeah. yeah, I'm not really a musician, I just you know, play the words. Okay. And stylist, you know, it's not, not pretend you're like true styling, mm -hmm. don't do that. So that's quite a, um, that's quite a repertoire. I know, I know, it's a bit kind of diluted, maybe. I um, call it, uh, you know, like the jack off all you know. uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, the work that you do, though, the work that you actually produce, isn't in any way diluted. Um, where, where does your sort of your main inspiration from this come from? Um, important is the journey that I'm on. So that's what's important. So sometimes there might be a direct reference to something. <coughs> so for that piece, it's like, oh look, you look like a whatever, and then and then it moves on. So. Um, yeah, and, and same with you know, and same with fashion work. You know, I now think that the, that the, the style of work I do, I own, I own that. I used to kind of, oh no, you know, I'm a painter, I'm not really a stylist. You can actually get over that. You know, it's just me. You know, it's just me. I, I just make my work. Mm -hmm. So I, I try to make kind of strong, simple statements in the in the fashion, and I, and, and and I do pull references from all of history. Mm -hmm. And that includes Bang Up Today. You know, I'm not averse to what's going on now. It's just that I don't, you know, it's not, it's not my, um, you know, it's not my point of reference. I don't, I, I, I don't care. If I do something, then, uh, yeah. I'll turn the music off. And turn it down. 60 seconds. Like many houses of late, Balenciaga presented both its menswear and women's wear together. They walked around a giant towering central mountain of colorful graffiti, which held quite a few clues about this collection. Firstly, there were the colors of the tags. Day glow and fluo has become the color trend of the season, and Balenciaga has it in spades, worth everything from second skin menswear turtlenecks to wrap dresses, leggings, and pleated skirts for the ladies. Then there was a number that was scrawled on the side of the mountain. It was repeated on the front of a handful of menswear shirts, and if you called the number, you got connected to the Balenciaga hotline where, if you're like me, you were asked a series of personal questions. And finally, the actually imposing size of the mountain was echoed in the impressive, voluminous outerwear that closed out the Balenciaga show. But with each passing look, became more and more exaggerated, to the point that it was hard not to think of that famous scene in Friends when Joy wears every single stitch of clothing he owns. Or perhaps it was a comment on the nomadic life of so many displaced people living in the world today. After all, the show did include logo tops to support the World Food Program. Sometimes when you read um, books, authors are asked, who is your favorite reader? And um, I think in the spirit of that question, tonight's lecture is really something that I feel it's, uh, if I may be selfish enough to say, it's kind of for me. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very happy that everybody is here, but I'm very happy that Konstantin is here to give the talk. I really, um, I'm looking forward to uh, the presentation. Um, I think all of you are um, familiar with his work and also know that here at the GSD over the past couple of years we've been working quite hard to really try and understand as a school how we can uh, engage more with the whole phenomenon of design more broadly and specifically industrial design. We often say that um, the fact that we are called the Graduate School of Design and that, you know, last year we celebrated the 75th anniversary of the Graduate School of Design. Quite often creates a confusion for the school because people think that we actually are our school of industrial design and that we are doing furniture and graphic design. And we tell people that we, we do architecture and landscape architecture and they think it's really like the, the Bauhaus. Um, and um, so, um, Somehow, we are very keen on this question of design and what is its role because you also know that the word design has now become more prevalent beyond industrial design in some ways in fields 
such as organizational structures or business and, and the, the link between what is called design thinking and um, the type of work that gets done here in the school. So I think the very word is now suggesting other possibilities. On the one hand, going to sort of architecture, landscape architecture, urban planning, urban design, and on the other, really also connecting to industrial design and now going to a field as a sort of mode of thought, as a way of thinking.